Hey everyone, and welcome to Group Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be building the HMS Prince of Wales from Peace Cool. Now, this build comes to us from our friends over at Crazy Toys, and if you haven't checked out their website yet, you definitely should. They got all kinds of really cool builds on there, some of them kind of hard to find, with great prices and fast shipping. If you're looking to pick up today's build, look no further than the description down below for a link directly to their website. Now, Groove Builders, I know a lot of you out there have been noticing some pretty weird stuff happening around the headquarters lately, and you're completely right. Including in today's build, the whole opening of the package is completely blocked from my access. And every single time R2 tries to access that file, he falls asleep and it's really hard to get him up again. So, instead of showing you that, let's just go ahead and take a look at the package together right now. The HMS Prince of Wales from Peace Cool. And this build is rated a 5 out of 7 star difficulty. Look at all that coloring, that's really cool, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back we get a look at our metal followed by a look at the completed model. Then just below that we have some instructions on how to build this build. And then at the very bottom we get a QR code which we can scan to get a 360 view of our model and a link directly to Peace Cool's website through WeChat of course. Alright group builders, let's get down to the workbench and take a look at the metal. And just like that, Groove Builders, we have all of our parts needed for the first two pages. Now, one thing I realized while looking at the instructions is that we have a lot of straightforward and repetitious detail here. So I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this so it's not too boring to watch. If you have any questions, though, about what I'm doing, just make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and form our first part. This is just a simple cylinder, and as always, I recommend starting big and then going small using my trusty mandrel here. I'm going to use my tweezers to press on the edges of the metal. That's going to help me make sure that those little edges are nice and curved too, because sometimes those can be pretty hard to, to bend. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's move to the next section, making sure to press on the back here too, because sometimes that doesn't want to form. And this is when we can start applying a little bit more pressure here, which can help with that back piece forming too. Cool. Pretty happy with that. It's a nice looking cylinder. A little bit going to be here, but we're going to just even that out. There we go. Close. Nice. I like it. Cool. Our first piece formed. Now what we need to do is combine parts number two. What I'm trying to do with this part here is I'm just following the seam all the way around and then I'm going to line up the tab with the insertion hole and then go back over it with my other tweezers and that should be able to get me a nice shaping. I could also try to do this with another tool which I'm going to try after. I'm going to use my tab tool here just to make sure I get as much of the tab as possible with these. Don't forget to put that on the right way. I almost put that on the wrong way there. All right, with one done, we gotta do four more. Okay, that's our last little guy there done. Now we can move on to the next ones, which are basically really small cylinders. And with our detail facing up, we're going to go ahead and form these with our mandrill. Again, always starting big and then working our way down to a smaller size. And we put these small little poles that we're going to form right in the middle. Secure these guys here with a nice twist. Then we take one of our guns here. We place them on top, making sure that these little antennas here are actually facing the same way our guns are. Okay, there's our first little tower piece here. Now we need to make four of these, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now we have all of our towers formed, 
I need to start doing other detail, which involves part seven right here. It's a little small little desk. And we have to go back to that little part two that we made here and try to fit this in the middle. Now one thing I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna to try to push all of these kind of like this because I'm gonna be putting something on the outside here which is our first part that we actually built. Being very careful not to scratch the upper part here, we're gonna put these two parts together. Right, I like that. Now we gotta attach it to number nine here, which is a giant piece. Awesome. Now it's small detail time. Now I'm looking ahead of the instructions a little bit and I see that we actually have a small box that's gonna go on top of this part first. So we're gonna form this small box and actually place that on top before we go any further. That way, it's just a little bit easier. I think getting in a small little space like that with that other part will be too difficult. That was a pain in the butt, but we got her in. All right, pretty good. Now, one thing the instructions said was to bend this little gold flap down. I actually recommend installing this part here first, then bending the gold flap down, just because it's easier to get to the tabs. Okay, now let's go on to forming our next part, which might be a little complicated. I'm actually gonna use the part that it's going to be going on right here to help me form it. These little turrets here go inside of this area. Now this is going to be interesting. Okay, those two little guns were a little tricky, but we got them in there. Now we need to move on to the next part of detail, which is forming some cylinders right over here. Yep, I formed that with my fingers and that was almost perfect. I like that when that happens. Okay, pretty happy with how that turned out. Now with all of our pieces formed, we actually need to get more pieces. And just like that, we have all of our parts for the next two pages. Now our first step involves part 27 and 28. And just like before, we're gonna match up the bottom to this piece here so that we can have the proper shape.
I really like how this is coming along. Now we need to form this next little bit of detail, which is pretty interesting. It's part 29, and this forms by having a circle in the middle here, and then these tabs coming over. So we need to find something pretty small to be able to get that cylinder done correctly. I think we're gonna try this right here. Okay, now we gotta put all of this detail on correctly. And it's very important that we make sure that we're putting everything in the right spot. You definitely don't wanna take any of these things apart afterwards. These tabs are a little bit harder because of their edges. You have to be very careful not to accidentally scratch any of the siding. So make sure you go a little bit slower when putting these side bits of detail on. This is one tricky piece. There we go. But we got her formed out. I'm gonna have to use my detailed tweezers to help me push that out a little bit. But she's looking pretty good. Now part 36, it's very important to make sure that the windows go at the top. You don't want them at the bottom. I might even put a little bit of black Sharpie down here to really make those tabs invisible. Okay, let's move on to our flag now. And there we go, all of our pieces needed for the next few pages. Now let's get back to that turret that we were forming and get this piece in the right shape. Now looking at this piece here, I'm thinking it might be best for us to actually deform this piece first. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's move on to our next stage here which is finally attaching some of our detail onto that main piece we built earlier this guy right here first things first let's attach our main guns i feel like i'm gonna have to do a lot of touch up at the end of this but it'll be very much worth it this build is going to be very nice when done oh boy that back piece here especially that smokestack is going to be very very hard to get in let's go ahead and try to get this in right now. I should have attached this first. That wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. But wait, did I put this in the right way? <laughs> I did. Good thing too. Definitely need to double check that before you go ahead and put that stack in. I definitely should check beforehand. That would have sucked. And it 
looks like those two tabs we just bent have to fit in either one of those sides. So this should be pretty easy to get everything in this shape. Groovers, this stage might be a little tricky. We're attaching this little piece here into some slots that are all hidden. The great thing about this gold metal is that it's actually very easy to bend and warp, which can work against you in some places, but when you're trying to grab tabs like I am right now, it's actually a godsend. It's very easy to bend this tab the way I want it to go. Okay, looking really good. Now let's continue on with our build train here. next station though and it looks like we're forming some more small detail let's go ahead and get this all formed out Finally getting to these towers we've built so long ago. Moving on, we got part 64 here. We're gonna form this into a triangle. And then we have a little bit of detail to put on the front of it. Back on the masts, and these masts are a bit of a pain. This is a pain in the butt to attach, but we're strolling along pretty well here, so let's continue on with our detail that we're forming. Time to form these little pieces of detail, which are pretty simple to do. All right, just clean up that right there. There we go. We have another one of our stacks all complete. These boats are a lot harder than they look because they're so close together, especially this one here. 
My objective is to try to get it in that back little tab here, which I might be able to do if I move this boat just a little bit and then force this guy in on the side. Let's try this now. more pointed if I can. There we go. Looking pretty sweet there. Let's move on to our next bit of detail, which is adding those boxes that we created a little bit earlier as well onto this box. This little gold piece is right in the way of everything. So I'm going to try pushing all of my stuff out of the way first. I'm going to try to get that back tab, and then after getting the back tab, we're no so we're successful. I'm going to push back on this a little bit though. Wow, this is going to be an interesting piece. Whoop, don't want to drop it. Let's go ahead and put this down carefully, just right there, and continue on with our building, which is the crane part now. Now those are installed. That was not easy. Not my friend, that's for sure. And these guys here gotta be straightened out a little bit more. But I think afterwards, like I've said multiple times, we're gonna go over everything at the very end and make sure it's nice and straight before we display it. Okay, now let's move on. There's just so much small detail with this build. I think that's finally all of my small little cubes formed. Now we gotta attach them to this base here, which might be a little bit complicated because of all the small slots they have to fit into. You're a pain in my butt. Oh, come on. I got her in there just long enough to get her out. You're a tab. You're going in the hole. There we go. Okay, our first box is all secured. Now let's fast forward to where this is all done. All right, and that is our last box. Our deck is looking pretty full here, but we still have way more detail to add, including a lot more smaller detail right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through all of this as well until we get to the turrets. All of our guns looking pretty good there on the front too. All right, let's continue on with our bigger guns now. That's these big turrets here. These should be pretty simple to form, but I'm pretty happy to finally get to these guys. There we go, excellent. Another turret looking pretty sweet. Let's keep going here. I like the roll that we're on when it comes to detail, but it looks like we have some more small pieces to build here. Last tab, there we go. All right, we got our two turrets all formed up. Now we gotta start forming some interesting shapes with these guys right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you really do wanna have the non-engraved side, that's this side right here, on the outside. And we're gonna use one of my bigger shaping tools because this is a bigger shape. guys go on the outer tabs and there's a few insertion holes on the circle so make sure that they're going into the right ones you want the ones on the outer edges I'm bending these outward um, it does tell you to bend these so I'm going to bend them away from the other insertion holes which are right underneath and that should save me any issues cool awesome 
now with all of these parts formed, we actually need even more parts. There we go, all of our parts needed for the next two pages. Now this time we're actually forming our big guns, which I'm pretty excited to do. We have 10 of these to do, I'm gonna do one of them and then we'll fast forward the rest. It's pretty simple stuff. I should probably insert this little gun here first before I go any further though. I think that might be easier. Can I pick it up? My goodness. Now this is not gonna stay in until we actually secure it to whatever we gotta secure it to. So I'll just do that for right now. And there's our first one. Now we got 10 more of those to do. So let's get doing that. And there's our last gun there all finished up. Looking pretty good. Now we gotta go ahead and move on to the next part which is forming some more small detail with this little circle piece here. Pretty simple to do, just one tab on each side. Now I'm gonna use my detail tweezers here to give me a hand, placing the detail where it needs to go. This part here, it's very important to make sure that you're not putting the tabs into the wrong slot. You're going to have to look very closely and ensure that you're leaving one right beside the other. Using a small set of detail tweezers like this will make your life a lot easier. See how that one little slot there is left open? That is very important. Make sure you're putting in the right one. You don't want to secure these and have to take them out again. There we go, and our last little turret here is all complete. Now I could put that down and start some of the small detail again. Oh, we've seen this step before. Last little bit of small detail there. Excellent. Now we gotta attach all these guys onto our main board here. Ooh, this one's a lot longer than our last one. Well, let's get to her. Now I'm not going to secure this bottom piece just yet until I make sure that this piece can fit properly inside. Otherwise I may have to move some things around. There's that gold boat all looking nice too. Sexy! All these small bits of detail are pretty much bent the same way. You're just really matching up the seams the entire time.
not pushing too hard there. Okay, I think these turrets are pretty good to go. They move around a little bit, but nothing too crazy. All right, now let's combine everything together. I think this is going to be interesting. Whew, that's huge. Okay, now we gotta connect these little guys here onto the boat. I feel like this whole area is so flimsy and that's why they actually put these pieces in place just to give it a little bit more support. I do like how big it is though. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Our last little piece there, nice and secured. It did give it a little bit more strength, although it is a little flimsy because of how long it is. Let's go ahead and continue putting more of our stuff on, starting with this guy right here. This is what they call part B, and this is going to go like that installed. And this should be very interesting to get this in place because of how all of our detail is situated. There we go. Our last little tab there for part B. That was a lot of fun. And by a lot of fun, I mean kind of stressful. Let's add part C now on, which is a lot bigger. As I grab part A, silly me. Okay, looking pretty good, but we're far from done. Those cranes look nice though across the center. Now, I think it's time for us to attach the main piece here, which might be a little trickier than I originally thought. Not bad at all. Now we're definitely gonna have to go through this whole thing at the end and make sure everything looks correct. And I know I've said that a few times, but with this particular build, because there's so much detail here, we have to do it. Let's put this up here and get more parts. And we have our final pieces for the HMS Prince of Wales. This build has been quite the adventure so far, and these pieces are pretty big. And because of all their color, we can be very careful not to scratch them. Okay, let's start out with the first piece, which is this one right here. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do each one of these tabs one at a time and we're gonna secure them as we go. And that's because there's a slight bend to this piece. We're also gonna be very careful not to scratch any of the metal here along the bottom. That's a nice finish. There we go. All right, our first little fin on. Now we gotta add the side ones, which are pretty much the same thing. go looking snazzy right there I like it a lot now we're gonna bend this down here I call that E for right now and that's gonna go right there now it's on to our next spot here here's our little bit of detail we got to bend now if you look closely here you'll see there's actually a picture you just got to kind of copy that picture and you should be fine before going any further with this here, we're going to need to actually attach this little piece. Now that this guy's all shaped up, we're going to go ahead and attach them onto our lower half here, which this is actually our first piece with the insignia of Peace Cool on it. Kind of cool. There we go. Awesome. Looking pretty sweet. Now let's do the same thing with the other side here, trying to be a little bit more careful of that red. I didn't mean to scratch it up as much as I did, but hey, it happens to the best of us. Let's go ahead and form this little lovely cylindrical piece here, which seems to be pretty tricky. Awesome. Now, just like before, we have these two little anchor pieces to put on. Looking pretty sweet. Now we just gotta fold everything over and try to connect everything together. This should be entertaining. I'm gonna try my best to hide these tabs. Now for the moment of truth, connecting our three major pieces together. I think this is going to be a trip, Groove Builders, but we're gonna do it together really, really patiently. There's our first one in. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the opposite end of the ship and I'm gonna secure that one. And hopefully all the others will fall in in between. Thank you. 
side here. This is turning to be a very interesting build. There we go. Got that one in there. Well, that's one side complete. That was intense, that little last little bit there. Now getting these last little few tabs in won't be too difficult, but we know that that edge will be. So we're gonna be very careful securing that last tab. We're gonna secure these ones as we are here. Okay, that was not easy. And now for the last bit, we have to attach the one and only bottom. See how easy that is to scratch? It's almost not fun. You gotta be so careful about that. These tabs are proving to be a pain in my butt. I'm just trying not to hurt any of my detail that I've put into place here as I've been going. This is just such a huge boat. Ah, friggin'. Haha, <laughs> little boat humor for ya. Oh, I know, it's a long build. And with that, group builders, we're complete. Just take a look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. All of that detail really did come together. All right, Groove Builders, let's get back out and talk about some things you might need to know about this. We did it, Groove Builders. We built the HMS Prince of Wales from Peace Cool, and this build looks awesome when it's complete. All that small detail, and of course the color, really does come together in the end. If you're looking to build this yourself, though, there are a few things you're gonna wanna know. Let's talk about those things in construction. For my first point, I want to talk about all the small detail that you're going to be encountering with this build. There's quite a lot of it, and if you have a hard time holding on to small things, this might be a model you want to avoid. That being said, when everything is formed, you actually have to put it together very closely, which can be very frustrating, and sometimes if you're not careful, you can scratch the metal very easily too. So my suggestion is to be very patient with this build, and when handling these small parts, use tweezers. You'll find it a lot easier to put everything where it needs to go. For my second point, I want to talk about the proper tools you'll be needing to build this build. Because there's so much uniquely shaped detail, I really do recommend having a detailed tweezer set as well as a mandrel on hand just to help you with some of the forming. That being said, I also recommend a really good set of wire cutters to cut out all of your pieces, just because some of them are incredibly small, and if you're not careful, you'll leave little bits of metal on there, and they're very hard to clean off once they've been cut out. For my third and final point, I want to talk about all of this red coloring. Yes, it does look good, but it's extremely easy to scratch especially when it comes to securing our tabs on either end here. If you do find yourself scratching the metal, just take a red Sharpie and color it in. You'll be surprised at how well that does, but it is in your best interest not to scratch it from the beginning. And with that being said, group builders, let's move on to build time. The HMS Prince of Wales from Peace Cool took me just over 11 and a half hours to build with the majority of that time being spent on all that small detail. And Groove Builders, I really can't emphasize this enough, do not rush this build. Every single time that I tried to go through it a little bit faster, I scratched pieces or misformed them or even attached them incorrectly. It's very easy to do with all the parts we're forming with this build, so make sure you really do take your time. You'll thank yourself in the end. And finally, Groove Builders, my thoughts. From time to time, when I'm browsing Reddit or of course looking through my Instagram, I see builders out there that are looking for builds that are nice and long with tons of detail. To those builders, I would really recommend the HMS Prince of Wales from Peace Cool. There's just so much here and the detail is definitely abundant. But that being said, because there is so much repetition, it can be very easy to rush some of the steps. And if you do that, you will find yourself scratching a lot of the pieces. I can't believe that I actually lost one of the main pieces to the guns over here, but I'm very interested to see how Peace Cool goes about replacing that for me. And you better believe that I'll keep everyone updated on the channel about how that goes. With that being said, if you're looking for a nice long build with tons of detail, 
I would say look no further than the HMS Prince of Wales. There's a lot here and you're going to absolutely love the process of building it. In the end, you really do have an awesome model with moving guns, which I think is really cool too. All right, Groove Builders, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the HMS Prince of Wales with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well as we got all kinds of really cool content coming up in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. Now to put this next to my USS Arizona. I think this might be a little bit bigger though. 